All right, everyone, now that we have talked about integers and what they are, we are going to start adding integers using some manipulatives. So the first thing we're going to do is show it on a number line. So our first addition statement is negative 3 plus 2. Now, the most important thing when we are doing these is that we always start at 0. For example, for this first one, we're going to start at 0, and you go to the first number. I'm going to draw an arrow to negative 3 and stop there. Now I'm adding a positive 2, so I'm going to go to the right 2, draw another arrow to get my answer of negative 1. All right, let's try another one. 5 plus negative 3, start at 0, go to the first number, stop there. This time I'm adding a negative 3, so I need to go to the left 3. which will get me to positive 2. Alright, that is how you can do it with your number line. Make sure you're showing both the arrows, always starting at 0. Now we are going to look at how we can do this with counters. For our counters, I am going to use a green plus for a positive 1 and a red negative for a negative 1. So for our first question, we have negative 4 plus negative 3. So how I adjust my counters, I would have 4 negatives, and I'm adding 3 more negatives. Now I can count. I have a total of 7 negatives there, so my answer would be negative 7. All right, to the next one, I am again going to start with 5 negatives. And this time I'm adding four positives. Now, before we find our answer, I want to look at one pair here. The red represents a negative one, green represents a positive one. If I add negative one plus positive one, I know that gets me zero, those will cancel out. We call those zero pairs. So once you draw out your counters, you can cancel out your zero pairs. And we see that we are left with one negative, so our answer would be negative one. All right, so that was two different ways that we can use manipulatives to add our integers. Now we are gonna look at some integer rules that will help us speed up the process of adding integers. So we're gonna look at first integers with the same sign. So, for example, two positive numbers. For example, if I added 3 plus 2, we know that's 5. Whenever you add two positive numbers, your answer will always be positive. Add the numbers, keep the sign that's positive. Now, when we add two negative numbers, for example, above we knew that negative 4 plus negative 3 gave us a negative 7. Here our answers will always be negative. And we can look at our absolute values, which we talked about in the last module. I know my absolute value of negative 4 is 4. I know my absolute value of negative 3 is 3. I think adding positive numbers is a lot easier than negative, so as we can see here, 4 plus 3 is 7 and then we keep that common sign of negative. So our rule for adding integers with the same sign, we always add the absolute value. As I just showed, you can do the same thing with the positive, you'll get the same answer, and use the common sign. So if it was two negative numbers, you use the negative sign, two positives, you leave it positive. All right, that was adding integers with the same sign. Now let's look at adding integers with different sign. First off, we talked about last time our additive inverses or our opposites. So if I'm adding, for example, negative 3 plus 3. If I'm adding additive inverses we talked about last time, that's always going to be 0. Now, if we look at this example, We have to decide if it's going to be negative or positive. To do this, we look at the absolute values. So I know my absolute value of negative 5 is 5. Absolute value of 3 is 3. 
whichever one has the greater absolute value, which in this case would be the five, you keep that sign. So the five is negative. We know our answer is gonna be negative. Now above we added our absolute values. Here you're going to subtract them. Five minus three we know is two. We already had the negative, so my answer is negative two. The same thing would also work, for example, if we had six plus negative four. Again, compare the absolute values. And this time we see the positive number had a greater absolute value, so we know our answer will be positive. We can subtract the absolute values. Our answer is positive two. So our rule for adding two integers with different signs, we subtract the absolute value. and you use the sign of the integer with the greater absolute value. All right, so there was how to add integers with our manipulatives and some rules that should help you out with your activity this week.